let's say we we found out well I, i'll give you a very good example um which is that in the 1990s we had a measurement of the age of the universe which at the time based on the expansion rate we've measured was about 11 and a half billion years and we had a measurement of the age of what of, of systems called globular clusters which are old star clusters in the milky way galaxy and the age of those was about 12 billion years so the age of the universe was measured to be younger than the oldest objects in the universe and that was the case in the 1990s so so what did people do they just carried on measuring things and then in 1998 a physicist who's now at ANU in Canberra in Australia Brian Schmidt and another team in America were looking at supernova explosions in the distant universe and found out that they were dimmer than expected and it turned out the interpretation was that the universe is accelerating in its expansion a complete shock so we thought the universe was slowing down it turned it was speeding up and that changed our measurement of the age to 13.8 billion years but there was a time when there was a big inconsistency between the age of the universe and the oldest things in the universe which were older than the universe so you take data seriously and you hold it and you and, and you're allowed to have a contradictory position you don't need to make judgments you say well, there's something wrong but we'll carry on measuring 